Okay, I got two Bujar B products that I want to um, share with y'all. Y'all know from past videos that they send me products to do reviews on, and I get to keep the product, so that's a great deal. But anyway, this is one of my favorite manufacturer uh, products. I really like them. This is a Bujar B. It's a 30 quart refrigerator. That's all it is. Just a refrigerator. It's not a freezer refrigerator. Okay, as far as opening it, it opens real good. It's got a good closure. Nice airtight closure. Okay, it's a 30 quart refrigerator like I said. As you can see right now, it's got a separator in it. But that separator pulls out. And if you want to get like a 12 pack or something big time in there, you can do that. Put it in. But all the slide it does, you just slide right back in place. Just like that. It's that simple. Um, again, the control panel is right here. It's very simple, hard to balance this thing and talk at the same time. That's your control panel right there. Um, it also has an open space where you can carry all your electrical cords right there. Um, it has two different ways you can charge it. You can charge it from DC. You just plug that into your DC on your car, your cigarette lighter, your power pack, whatever. That in right there it goes right there into the refrigerator. It also has AC charge. That end goes into your refrigerator like that. And that end plugs into your house. When I used the refrigerator, it used about, I believe it was like 33 watts to run it. And it, the cool down time from about 100 degrees down to 42 degrees was less than 45 minutes, which is, that's a real good time. But overall, it's built very well. It's not too heavy. I mean, if I can pick it up, anybody can pick it up. It's got two good handles up here on the top. It's got four places you can put your cups. One, two, three, four. It's got a nice place you can put them there. This right here opens and closes real easy. And once again, you have your um, thermostat control right there. You have all your directions right there. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's one of the easiest setups I've seen so far. But they also sent me one more unit. Let me show you all that. I'm going to put this here out of my way. I'm done with that. This is a little power pack they sent me. Um, you can charge it different ways. You can charge it DC. You can charge it household current. But it's got UBS court ports. It's got a, a DC port if you want to charge something DC. It's real easy to use. It doesn't weigh that much. It's got a little um, input, output meter right there. Um, you can charge it two different ways. You can charge it AC from your house. Very simple. All you do is take that, plug it in just like that. Like that. Plug it into your house. Boom. Or if you want to charge it the other way, you take the DC and plug it in there. And plug it into your cigarette lighter and it charges it back up. But this unit right here would be good for things like telephones or computers, laptops or CPAP, something like that. But One more thing I want to share with you about this um, Bouge RV battery. Not only will it run, you know, power to your small appliances, it will also run this refrigerator up to six hours. But I'll show you how it works. And like I said, it will run up to six hours. You take it that way right there. You turn it, turn it on the side like that and put it in there. And then you plug it up. I'll show you all how you plug it up. Okay, there you go. That's how you plug it up. If you notice right there, it's got a hole in the back of it. This is a cord right there. You follow the cord down. You plug it up to the refrigerator right here. Follow the cord back. Cut it on right here. Take this right here and just lay it down flat. Tuck your cord in there. Just like that. As, as you can see, the gauge should be working. Okay, there's a gauge. Hopefully y'all can see the gauge, but it's fully charged right now, and it's drawing, um, I can't exactly see. It's drawing 21 watts off the refrigerator. But there you go. Like I said before, the battery will usually last about six hours. You close it, closed up, trip to the beach, there you go. But I just wanted to add that into the video because I left it out with the first part of the video, but there it is that's what you can use a battery for not only that it'll also charge your other small appliances but 
a day trip to the beach, six dollars worth of battery. There you go. Overall, this is a nice little unit too. I'm not really sure what this sells for, but the refrigerator sells for about 300. And I'll put all this in the link. I'll put the weight of the refrigerator and the style. I think it's called a, a CR30. And I put all this in the link below. below. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and hopefully sharing with y'all. You know, it'll help you make decisions down the road on what you want to buy or, or what you need to buy. That's why I share it with you. I, me, me, myself, I think Bouge V is a great product. I've had like two or three of them. And I've had solar panels made by Bouge V. And overall, it's a really good product. And besides that, they stand behind their product too. And that's the most important thing when you dealing with you know stuff that you pay 300 bucks for but if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up please subscribe see you next video down the road going to Jacksonville oh,